What's up, everybody? Good morning. Rise and shine. Uh, let me get dressed real quick, and then I'll come back. All right. All right, I'm dressed. Today is gonna be fun as fuck. It's another back-to-back -back session. You know I love the back-to-back -back sessions, you know what I mean? You can get a lot of work done, you feel me? You can really solidify a piece into being a masterpiece. One session ain't enough to really like hit it home, but two sessions, you could really knock that shit out. Um, three sessions sometimes is even better, but two sessions, you know, this dude drove from hella far, so we're gonna make it worth it for him. I'm actually really excited because the subject matter that he has is a little different from what I'm used to. I usually do a little more feminine vibe to it or whatever, I guess, whatever. He wants something more horror themed, which is dope because I never get to do that shit, you know what I mean? Um, not that I don't like doing it, it's just a lot of people don't want some of the horror themed things. You gotta really like the horror theme to really want it, you know what I mean? So I'm juiced that I found a guy that wants that shit. Um, yeah, man, fucking, I'm, I'm juiced on it. Two days back to back, it's a chess piece. Let's see what the fuck it turns into and see if we can make another fucking masterpiece. Let's do it, come on. Everybody saw, man, Wednesday was uh, the premiere of my first episode on Black Ink Crew Chicago. Yes, it was, it was dope, honestly, like, we had a little viewing party with all the homies and, like, all my friends and stuff like that, you know, so it was actually pretty fucking dope. Um, I hope you've seen it. If you didn't, it's on VH1. You can watch it on DirecTV now. You can watch it on demand for your whatever cable provider you have. Yeah, man, it's kind of surreal, bro. It's fucking surreal, you know? Like, I, I spoke it into existence, I think, about a year ago. I, I mentioned uh, on my stories that I wanted to do reality TV. I just didn't know I didn't know what show or, or how I was going to do it. I literally said the words, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I want to do reality TV. And I'm going to figure it out, right? It's, it's just fucking crazy how it, like, came to fruition. Like, it, it literally happened exactly how i said it was gonna happen uh manifestation is completely real because i've proven it to myself over and over again and i could lie to myself about it and try to say it was a coincidence but you know probability is you know that shit is real as fuck so i'm still filming the show i think i got a half a season left to film which is a lot but you know i'm ready for it and now that the show finally aired it's like i finally i could finally get something back from it because i've just been like traveling a shit ton to Chicago to do this shit and even Vegas and stuff and it's taking a lot of energy and it's a taking away from my routine and my uh and my shit I got going on here in Sacramento so now that it aired it, it's it's worth it for sure you know what I mean still hard work but it's worth it you feel me and if you did watch it and you're watching it you know what I mean like it's cool that you could like compare the vlog to the show because like this is the real me bro like straight up like if you see some little shit on there that you might you know be a little judgmental about you can go ahead and be judgmental or whatever but you know just remember it's television so my car's finally warmed up. I'm about to drive to the shop, meet up with my client, see how he's feeling. Oh, hell no. 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 What the hell y'all doing here? Is this on me? Or is it? Yeah, it's funny. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're lying. It is. It's all on you. As I'm sitting here waiting for my client, I just wanted to point out that I absolutely love AirPods. I mean, for obvious reasons, but I know a lot of people don't really like them. Some people don't really like them, but I love them, man. It's so convenient. You can have them in while you tattoo. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes I put a podcast on low volume while I'm tattooing. Because I still like to talk to my client and stuff like that, but sometimes it's cool to have like a a podcast on low and stuff like that because I don't know there's something to listen to when it's a silent moment and they're super convenient for phone calls and stuff you can walk around you can go away from your phone 
leave your phone in the other room and then talking to whoever you want to talk to and, and then obviously music. But yeah, I fucking love them. Random fact. Electing Trump or are you electing Kanye? That's a hard question. Yeah, let us know if people want to know whether you, you whether you're gonna elect Trump. Kanye West. Kanye West. Drop the mic. What do you think? He gave me a hard time for my answer last time. Trump or Kanye? I picked Kanye because we got him on our team. There you go. Yeah. Is that for your YouTube? Yep. All right. Ask the people. <laughs> Kim Kardashian or Paris Hilton as your first lady president? Kim Kardashian or Paris Hilton? Paris Hilton or Kim Kardashian for president? Who are you guys electing? I want to know. Let us know in the comment section and we're going to laugh at it by ourselves. Literally, we're selfish. We just want it for ourselves. We want to laugh at it. So just put that in the comment section. We want to know. Who do you think? I might have to go with Kim. Kim. He said Kim. You know what? I say Kim as well because I feel like her mom runs the fucking show and she might take over office and just be like the president behind the president, you know what I mean? But that's just my opinion. I wanna know your guys' opinion. So just throw that in there if you got some time. Throw that in there, along with a like and a subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty four hours later. Don't got too much more to go. We got like some splatters to do and stuff and uh, some highlights. We had a long session yesterday, so today's session is gonna be a little shorter, you know what I mean? It's gonna be dope though. It sucks we're not gonna be able to get to his traps and stuff because that really makes the whole chest feel full. But I still feel like you get the point. Like this shit is dope, you know what I mean? And then it's just it's just about finishing it, but at least we got enough to get all the way across the chest. He's got a pretty big chest, you know what I mean? So putting in work. I just wanna say too, like to my viewers and stuff and people that watch me, I don't know if they get the impression that like, like I make this look easy or something or it's easy or it just comes naturally to me and shit because it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like I had to I had to work hella hard to get to where I'm at today and like to get to the point where I could let shit flow out and have the process with my client be on point in every sense, not not just the tattooing sense, it, in like talking to them and making them feel comfortable and letting them understand um, how the system works and how I do things. Like it took me a long time to develop that where I can just let it flow out. You gotta develop your muscle memory and, and things that have to, your brain's a muscle too, so there's a lot of things that you gotta get mentally down to where it just feels natural. It's not natural, it's not like I was born with it, but I had to develop it and it takes a long time to do that, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to address that, man. Like, don't think that like I'm just lucky in life to be like at the point I'm at because the people that have been following me for a long time, they know where I came from and how I came up. Like, like I don't mean to keep reiterating it, but I grew up homeless, having nothing. Me and my mom finally got an apartment, smack dab in the hood, like right in the middle of the hood. So. You could only imagine what kind of shit I was getting into. I was doing that all the way up until 18, 19 years old. Ended up going to jail when I was 18 and all the shit, right? I mean, long story short, you know what I mean? Tattooing saved my life. I started tattooing. Didn't want to be nothing. I don't want to be a peasant. I don't want to be like nobody, you know what I mean? Like I could tattoo and just hustle it and, and just knock out some tattoos, get some money and go home and shit. But it's not even about that, bro. It's about how far do you want to take your life and how, how much accomplishment do you want to see? in your lifetime. Mine just so happens to be a lot and I'm not scared to set that goal high and do what it takes to get there, you know what I mean? And a lot of people don't. Um, I think a lot of people are scared to do it. Cause you know, when you ask somebody, you talk to them about it, they, they might be like, oh, that's not for me or I don't, I don't do that. And it's like, honestly, like this shit wasn't for me, like this right here, this shit wasn't for me neither. So it's like, I kind of had to develop that comfortability to do that. And that takes a lot, it takes a lot of soul searching. You have to understand like what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are 
and then capitalize on your strengths and then maybe work on some of those weaknesses and stuff. You can't just ignore the weaknesses and just be like, oh, it's not for me. I'm not, I'm not that type. It's not whatever. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a goal and that's a part of the step to reach that goal, you got to do it. Like, otherwise, you're just going to stay in the same spot. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, pro tip of the day, man. Like, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to if you're willing to put in the effort in the steps. And you have to figure out how to map out each step to get there. You know what I mean? And it takes a lot of contemplation, you know what I mean, reflection. And it's hard. It's tough. You know what I mean? It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. I just don't want people to think that this shit just happened for me and I'm just lucky, you know what I mean? Because just, just respect how much work I put in. And even if you don't like hearing my voice or you don't like watching my videos or whatever, just don't watch it, you feel me? Like, what's the point? And if you're hating on me and still watching it, I think you really do like it. You just don't want to say you like it, you feel me? So I'm shooting for the stars, man. I shine, we all shine, you feel me? So today we're gonna tackle this right here on this pack. And then we got some splatters to go off that way and stuff. Hopefully I can get one there and one there. And yeah, I'm just gonna finish it up. This shit is fucking crazy. We're not gonna be able to get to the traps and shit today because it's just a lot of work. One more session, we'll be able to just blast this whole shit. But regardless, solid start, super dope concept. Dude hanging from a tree, girl swinging on the swing like she's happy, and she's fucking screaming her brains out. Yep, see how it turns out. Gonna highlight the whole chest, which is gonna be fucking awesome. But when it's done, it's gonna look crazy. Yep, so we got to take a break real quick and you know, knock out the rest. Boom. session on his chest it was uh man that shit is painful like i could feel his pain while i was doing it you know what i'm saying it's crazy especially the highlights we had to do the highlights across the whole chest on the second session which normally i wouldn't do but we did a lot of work on the first day so you know how that goes but i'm super happy with the way it turned out i love doing these back-to-back -back sessions the more people that want to do that the more you're gonna get in um, even back to back to back because we can get a lot done in three sessions. You just got to tough it out. You know, what I mean you got to beast it out 
But at the end of the day, I feel like it's worth it. You're gonna get a masterpiece done, and you know what I mean? That's the rest of your life. So you might as well uh, beast it out now and, and, and put up the dough and, and do what you need to do to get it done. I think I'm about to go get my hair cut, you know, my boy Tank and all that stuff. LA this week. A lot of shit going on, man. I'm gonna try to vlog it all. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think of that piece. We didn't get to go up and above his traps and stuff like I normally would because we could only get so much done in two sessions. And he has a big chest and shit. But as far, you get what we're going for, you know what I mean? We, you get the vibe of what's gonna go up there anyways. So don't, I don't wanna hear no messages or comments about that. I just want y'all to let me know what y'all think of what's there. And um, like, comment, subscribe, like y'all been doing. Man, last vlog went, what, 120K right now, it's counting. We, we creeping up on 30K subscribers, man. I love it. Love it. I fucking love it. So, man, keep showing that love, baby. And I'm going to keep bringing the heat. The fucking heat. Now you out here shining and shit. Mauricio out here shining. Mauricio, you out here shining? Yeah. Yeah? He is too. You shining? Yeah. We shining. He in pain too, but he going to get that shit done too. And he going to be shining. But, yeah. Till next time. Young CEO in the building. This is first tattoo. It's your first tattoo, bro? Yeah. Sick, dude. That shit's lit. Good job. A beast. Good job. You make this bump. Yeah. See, the way I be living my life, bro, like, I live differently. I live differently than other people. Like, my day-to-day -day is different. It's not for everybody. And what I mean by that is, like, the people that might hate on me or something or think that I'm cocky or think that I do too much or think that I'm too, like, into myself and all this, all this hatred. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you don't understand. Like, broke, homeless, like, done for. Like, everything about my life was absolutely negative. And there was no way to come out, come out of it. You know what I mean? Like all I want to do is is make it in any way I can. And, and doing that, I want to help people and I want to add value to other. What's so bad about that? You feel me? So it just ha so happened to be tattooing. And the people that be hating on me and shit, or or say little slick shit, or or people that are bitter, I'm doing stuff that they're not comfortable doing themselves, which is okay. You don't have to be like me. You don't have to do stuff like me. And on the same note, you don't have to hate on me just because I'm doing shit that make you feel uncomfortable or make you like make you envious. Look at it from my point of view. Like I have goals and dreams that are set so high that I got to live differently. And like if you hating on me because of the actions I take to get there, which in my head is like normal, like normal actions, bro, like doing video, like normal ass shit, right? Like why the fuck? Is you hating on me, bro? Like, for real. And now I'm here at my boy Tank the Barber's barber shop um, in the middle of Oak Park. I'm from Sacramento, you know Oak Park, man. It's the hood. It's the hood we all know and love. You feel me? It's where Mozzie's from. About to go up in here and get my shit. I'm already kind of cut, but I'm trying to get touched up. You feel me? I'm trying to get that shit. A1, A1.
Let me see that dance again. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Let me see your moves, bro. Go, bro. Come on. I seen you trying. Come on. I don't try, man. You don't dance. What you talking about? I play Fortnite. I don't know. Let me have change. You got change? Oh, you going to try to flog. Oh. 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 O